So Stuart, another another win, another good performance. How do you sum up uh, tonight's result? Well, as I say, the, the result wasn't the, the main driver, but it's, it's pleasing to win and pleasing to keep a clean sheet. I think uh, to have so many new faces within the squad um, and for the players to play as well as they did, moving the ball as quickly as they did was a real bonus. And, and to try and uh, make the depth of player at the, this age group as big as we possibly can to, to put the players under pressure, you know, to perform is the ideal scenario what we're looking for. This game was was used in some ways, yes. There was three starters from Serbia that, that, that give us a nucleus, but there was a lot of new faces here and I think all of them done really well and it gives us something to think about. I couldn't be more delighted with the way the season's gone and certainly the way tonight's gone. Is that a positive thing, the fact that you made seven um, or gave seven new caps tonight and uh, and they've all looked good at international level? Probably the pleasing thing is going back to the time we met up on Sunday. You know, they we're together for a short space of time, so sometimes you haven't got a lot of time to build that camaraderie. But they seem to come into this environment and really enjoy each other's company. And that, for me, gives us a real good start as a manager. You know, once you get that... And they enjoy coming to meet up and certainly going back to their clubs and they, they go back with a lift to certain the likes of McEtron and Wickham and a Phoebe and you name it, a vast amount of players will come away from, from this venue tonight and be delighted with their contribution. Won an England cap as well, been part of a winning setup and, and, and a lot of that go, I do put credit down to my staff. I've done it in the future. I think we've got such a solid staff here that they make players uh, you know, coming into the squad feel very at home, as well as the players and obviously the captain Jordan plays a big part in that in my eyes. It would be great for Connor Wickham as well, second goal in, in two games for him. Confidence must be high with him. Yeah, and, and we just hope now, I mean, th th certainly most of this season Connor's come into this squad whenever we've met up with a real smile on his face, with a real purpose about his football, you know, and uh, sometimes when you change clubs it's very difficult, certainly for young players moving a long way from home, but uh, we've seen a real spring in his step and uh, I thought he played very, very well tonight. He played with energy, enthusiasm for the game and as I say, um, as well as he's played in this environment, I think. Now, he should be going back to his club tonight. Um, if I was him, I would be saying, right, now it's my turn to get in Sunderland's team. And uh, another debutant was on the score sheet with um, Benica Phoebe, but when he picked up the ball for the penalty, what, what were you thinking? Because usually that's your... Your stats man, the man at the top of the stats is going to take it, who's Jordan. Exactly. Normally I go on stats. Obviously at the moment the boy is 100%. So uh, we didn't know that before he stepped up. But credit to him. He had the confidence to do it. Took a fantastic penalty. And I think whenever you're a striker and, and you come in and, and play a game, and certainly the first time he's been at this age group, to score a goal, we'll be delighted with his contribution today. It could have been more at, at, at their end, but at our end we kept a clean sheet. Another one for the year, that's uh, six on the bounce and six victories as well. Yeah, as I say, that takes some doing at any level, make no mistake. I can't lose sight of that and you know the, the credit goes to the players in respect to that. We've had players step into the squad from the outside, the Tom Leeses, uh, you know, Andre Wisdom was with this squad a year ago uh, and then he had a long time out of it. Now all of a sudden he's returned to the squad with a real air of confidence about him, you know, and that, that is fantastic for us to see and it's good for Liverpool as well, to be fair. But we think, right, OK, we've got some real men around this squad now. And two and a half months now until the next game, what will the, the um, winter period hold for you? Picking up the former players, really, you know. Uh, I've got a few courses on uh, to go and see, to carry on educating myself, you know. A few days in Amsterdam we got and a conference and, and various other places. And But picking up matches, really, and making sure that, that I'm on top of all the players, the, the Will Hugheses of this world and all the young players and Nick Powells and, that are going to come and, and stake a claim to be in this squad. I've got to make sure that I'm acutely aware of, of the next player coming through the door, not the ones that are here now. Who's the next man that we need to see?